Beyond Boundaries was born to be an accelerator program for um, women in and around Halton region to advance their economic empowerment. And the objective has been to support women entrepreneurs to grow, scale their businesses, and to reach global markets. And we've run three cohorts. We've had 37 different companies participate in the Beyond Boundaries program. We've focused on four key areas, and those are thinking big and scaling your business, financial acumen required for scale, technology, and that's the technology about how do you think about technology and plan for technology as your company gets bigger. And then sales, you're going to have to sell the product and you're really going to have to think about how you go to market. So those have been the four key elements in the program. And I think the really important thing that we've learned and the experience has shown is that networking is so critical. When we have had these companies together, they've found opportunities to develop their business, but also to meet others, to meet mentors, to meet business partners, to meet um, potential clients that can help them down the road. Program participant Rebecca Featherstone is the founder of Musicology. She received the support she required from the program when some men in business were trying to take advantage of her lack of experience. The female entrepreneur thing really meant a lot to me through the Beyond Boundaries program because uh, I've been through other programs as well that were very male dominated and um, they just don't seem to understand the, I guess, the stresses that a lot of us females that are trying to start our entrepreneurial journey have when it's, you know, managing the home and managing, um, you know, the kids schedules and all of that stuff. They supported me um, emotionally and uh, business-wise throughout a lot of um, turbulence that I was going through back in the fall. Um, starting a tech startup is not an easy feat, especially when you have a BA in music. And they were there just really to um, guide me in the right direction. and hold my hand through a lot of the turmoil that was going on. To be honest, I would have just thrown in the towel a long time ago had it not been for them telling me that this is normal for startups. This is how things go and you have to keep pushing through and persevering. Rebecca shared she was inspired to continue on by a keynote speech given by Amy Leesk. Leesk runs two businesses, Enable Education and Red Tea Media. She shares that entrepreneurs have to be stubbornly optimistic. It's kind of a quality that you, you either have to have or you have to grow as quickly as possible. But you have to think, you know, what I'm doing, the business that I'm presenting is going to do something useful for someone and it's going to work. I may have to come at it from 50 different angles. I may have to try different approaches. I may have to question my own assumptions about things. Um, but it's going to work. I'm, I'm going to help. I'm going to get this done. Um, and that's, uh, it's, it's, I, I mean, we've had to do that for ourselves pretty much all the time for 15 years. You have to sort of, you know, flick yourself in the ear and say, yes, this is good. This is good. You know, keep forward. Um, but it's hard. It's really hard for anyone, especially if you are, uh, you know, a solopreneur or you're just starting out. The companies who've participated have added employees, they've grown their sales, they've introduced new products to market, they've conquered um, international markets. Um, so we're really pretty excited about what we've created so far, the networking and the connections and the opportunities going forward. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.